As the world advances more and more, there's so much knowledge that can be had. The difficulty of gathering information is going down consistently, and schools are progressively improving their curriculums. But science is becoming more complex, and everyday life is becoming easier. Which leads us to today's topic, the disconnect between the general public and academia. I talk about stuff. You may have heard of this if you listen to people like Jordan Peterson, Sam Harris, Eric Weinstein. They call themselves the intellectual dark web. Basically to sum up what that means is they're not afraid to have discussions that mainstream media and social media platforms would deem inappropriate. It's a very interesting topic that I'm sure we'll save for another video. But what these people also talk about is the growing disconnect between the nation's smartest scientists and the general population. Now obviously I wouldn't even consider myself to be close to the nation's smartest scientists, so I'm going to be speaking from the general population's view here. So if we head over to Science Daily, we can see a lot of new discoveries in multiple scientific fields. I'm just going to click on a random one here and we can see that the summary of the article says, Australian scientists have investigated new directions to scale up qubits. Utilizing the spin orbit coupling of atom qubits, adding a new suite of tools to the armory. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Mmm. 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 I know some of these words. Yeah. So what does it all mean? Now, that is just one example of something that is probably very important to the scientific community, but nobody knows what it means. IQ has always been a measuring tool for a population's average intelligence. And although it does have its flaws, it can certainly be used to see the average of a population's intelligence. Interestingly enough, the average global IQ has dropped four points in the last 60 years. You might have your own assumptions as to why this is. Social media, being able to Google anything at your fingertips, an overload of information maybe. While these are possible reasons, Richard Lynn had other ideas mentioned in his book IQ and the Wealth of Nations. The idea that he had is that poor countries tend to have more children for various reasons, and they have lower IQ because of lack of funding for education. But as countries become wealthier, their birth rate drops. This basically means that the higher Earth's population gets, the lower the average global IQ will get. Now you might be thinking, this doesn't mean that Western civilizations are becoming dumber. And you're right, that doesn't necessarily correlate. But unfortunately, North America and Europe are having the same issues. This is likely more because of the reasons that we were mentioning before, those being things like social social media, people not putting as much effort into things, having too much information also can cause that. Another interesting thing that I found that might be creating a greater intellectual gap is that people just simply don't read much anymore. I find myself scrolling through Facebook, finding an interesting article title, and then going to the comments to see if it's a good article. And in the comments there's always that one guy that's saying something stupid because he hasn't read the article. He would much rather just read the title and then put in a stupid uninformed comment. Now I know I'm guilty of that sometimes, and I know a lot of other people are guilty of that too, they just don't leave comments all the time. People just see headlines, form opinions, and then move on. And I think that this attributes itself to there being too much information. And not only that, but 90% of that information is useless information. If you spend an hour scrolling through memes and then you see an article about cancer being genetic, for example, are you really likely to read the whole thing? I highly doubt it. Now, what is the actual problem with there being a disconnect between the general population and scientists? If scientists come up with something that needs to happen to improve humanity, or even save it from its future demise, and people don't understand it, then there's never going to be any policy put into place for that problem. This is something that I hope we can overcome with time. I know it's a struggle for everybody these days to stay engaged on things that are worthwhile, but if you're one of the people that do that already, you're a very rare breed. And now it's time for our word of the day, and today our word of the day is numinous. Numinous is an adjective that means having a strong religious or spiritual quality, indicating or suggesting the presence of a divinity. This word can also be applied to anything that surpasses human understanding you know, like most complex science. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I liked making it, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for weekly videos and an upcoming podcast. Check the video description if you're interested in sources, and come back next week for another video. Peace.